Welcome to Leicester, Massachusetts for round three of the 2022 MVP Open at Maple Hill. Wow, grabbing a little bit of metal is Cat Merch with her <laughs> forehand approach. Rarely do you see Kristen throw something that has a little of a flex to it like she just did there, and it was a great shot. He's on the right side of the OB rock wall, and that just kept it out of bounds. And Valerie putting it all the way down the tunnel. Find her way up the tunnel. Cat Merch with a uncharacteristic forehand drive on this hole. And she's going to put herself within 25 feet of the pin after banking off the wall. Trying to hit that very tiny gap. Here's Hannah Blumeros. Nice little Mac off the tree. And Hannah. Players throwing over the water with a backhand shot. Typically we see the sidearm throws. I think the backhand just has to be so much more accurate. Moving up the fairway. Now Cat Merch, T of seven. This looks great. Because it is birdie on eight. Got it. Carry the discs more to the right. That was a tough shot. She stays yeah. safe, though, on her drive. Oh. And Gannon on the green. After Missy Gannon found the green on eight, she collects the birdie as well. Birdie count has been doubled now, thanks to Ella Hansen. Hard mate struggling off the tee. Natalie Ryan for birdie. Get out of here. Back to back on 10 and 11 as a qualified competitor in. Looking for a bye into the semifinals is Valerie Mundahano. And this is tracking right toward the pin. Great shot by Valerie. Mundahano for a look at Birdie and she cashes it in. Putting together back to back Birdies on. Just 89 meters. This looks great. It just needs to push a little left, and it does. Owen Scoggins is parked on 14. A, a, an advantage allows them to attack for the birdie. Well, speaking of birdies, Natalie Ryan picks up her fourth of the round. Here's Natalie Ryan with a birdie look on 15. And looks like a birdie connection on 15. Natalie makes that first initial gap. Wow. Yeah. That's tracking right to the pin and Ella Hansen. But we'll roll it back one more time to see this drive from Ella. Releases on a hyzer angle. The disc flips up. 
fly straight, and then max off of that stump at the very end. Clean shot for Kristen. She'll have a long look for birdie. 73% of our field have taken pars. Pierce should like this. Oh, and then it hits a late tree. Birdie look from circle two. Count it. Kristen to tar from way downtown on 16. I guess that's what it takes to get the birdie, but Kristen from 60 feet. It, as she was throwing her drive, I just kept thinking the style of her throw in that she usually throws either flat or with hyzer. It doesn't really get her close to this basket. So she'd need a throw in as Pierce answers with one of her own, putting on a show as they're closing out round three. Pierce. Hey from way back. Natalie Ryan to try and close out with a par and she's done just that. Natalie Ryan, a very impressive, in fact, the hottest score at three under. If my math is right, that means Paige Pierce is gonna fall to seven over and that will allow Valerie Mundahano to jump onto the lead card. We will see Val move up Pierce will fall back to the chase card. So we see some lower scores today, but it is shocking this year to see even our leaders over par. This would be the first year that we could have a winner that finishes over par at a tournament at Maple Hill. So the elements have been very challenging for our players, but today was moving day and we saw many of our players take advantage of that, including seeing a new leader at the top of the board.